We're it's going the, uh, into Zabar. Go toward the lock. Towards the lock. Bagels and locks with a television legend. The Fonz from Happy Days. No big deal. This is so luscious. It's like, mm, it's butter. Okay. I wish you could be here to taste what we're tasting. Oh, it's so good. You can take the boy out of New York, but you can't take New York out of the boy, right? That is so true. <laughs> For Henry Winkler, this little shopping spree is a homecoming tradition. My grandparents still tell me stories about your mother. She yeah. lived across the street in West Bend. Mrs. Oh. Mrs. Winkler. Where today, he's you. greeted like royalty. <laughs> then you have fans from every generation. That's amazing. Yes, right? And they say hello. Some children only know me as an author. Uh, the water boy, happy days. Hey. <laughs> From every corner of the globe. Saw you on Okinawa, Japan when you came with the happy days oh gang. Oh my gosh, we more children in Italy. Yes. Lithuania loves you all so very much. Lithuania <laughs> loves you. Isn't it nice that you make people smile? I'm telling you, it is unbelievable. It is uh, one of the great gifts. Chances are there's a Henry Winkler character you know and love. Hey. Hey. He first burst onto our screens as the smooth talking, jukebox smacking tough guy, Arthur Fonzarelli, better known as. Because I'm the Fonz, huh? Hey. Now, at 73 years young, Winkler is still one of the most beloved stars in Hollywood. We are breathing rarefied air. And after six nominations, Henry Winkler. He won his first primetime Emmy last fall for the HBO comedy, Barry. I can't stop yet. My wife, Stacy. Kids, kids, Jed, Zoe, and Max, you can go to bed now. Daddy won! It was so great to say, kids, you can go to bed now. Oh, that was adorable. Uh, you know, and they are now uh, 35, <laughs> uh, 37, and 47. But to really understand the man, you have to go back in time, the 70s. Henry Winkler was the brightest star on the biggest show on television. For nearly a decade, Happy Days was must-watch TV. At its peak, 22 million homes tuned in every week. Underneath this suave Italian tough guy character was a 27-year-old nice Jewish boy from New York, worshipped by swarming teenagers. 25,000 people showed up when the four of us, uh, Ron Howard, Don Most, Anson Williams, and me, showed up in Dallas. And our uh, car was on the other side of the 25,000 people. And I said, all right, let me tell you something. You're going to part like the Red Sea. <laughs> and you're not going to touch us. We're going to get to that car. And we just walked through. It was the only time I used the Fonz. The Fonz just appeared in front of me. The Fonz could do anything. So when Ralph and Potsy accepted a challenge to jump over a shark, no problem. I learned to water ski on Lake Mayo Pack. Because those tight shots of you are clearly you water skiing. Oh, they are me. Yeah. I did everything but the jump. Uh, if you watch that episode, I land on the beach and step out of the skis, and there I am, and I'm smiling. Half that smile is the Fonz going, hey, look at that, I did it. And the other half is Henry going, oh my God, you did it. But while the Yale drama grad was playing the epitome of cool, you, Henry Winkler, were not that much like the Fonz. No, I'm not like, I don't ride a motorcycle. I have never ridden a motorcycle. I finally realized that cool is also just being authentic. Auth that is powerful. But uh, when I changed my voice, when I, all I was like, it didn't unlock me. I became like I could do anything, you know? My mind just was like on fire. At the same time, Henry was dealing with a lifelong struggle with dyslexia. He didn't even know what it was until his own son was diagnosed. The dyslexia was so uh, crippling for you that you had trouble even at table reads during happy days. Most embarrassing. I couldn't read it, and I didn't know why. And so I constantly had to uh, make up excuses or m do something with humor to cover my shame. He channeled his pain into a best-selling children's book series. His latest, Everybody is Somebody, is about a boy named Hank, who, like Henry, has dyslexia. His mom pushes the door open. Can you believe that I got my picture hanging on the bulletin board of PS87? You're special, Hank. Never forget that. 
She gave me a kiss on the forehead and she left the room. And the last thought that I had before I drifted off to sleep was, Hank Zipser, someday you're going to be somebody. Your eyes are misting. Why? Because that feeling never leaves you. When you're told often enough and uh, young enough that you're not good enough, that you're not going to make anything of yourself, you believe it. When you meet a child who says, how did you know me so well? Because they've read the books. You think, this is the proudest moment of my entire life outside of my family. And I want every child to know that they have greatness inside them. Winkler knows about perseverance. After Happy Days, he says he was typecast and couldn't get acting jobs for years. So he went behind the camera, producing and directing shows like MacGyver. He fakes to the left. And in the 90s, an on-screen resurgence, stealing scenes in smash hits like The Water Boy. It's about fake. He pretends to fake. I don't know where I am. And creating memorable TV characters like Dr. Saperstein on Parks and Rec. It's a little fleck of cream cheese on the screen. And Barry Zuckercorn on Arrested Development. We're going to get to, I'm going to start right now. I am one of the only actors that has jumped the shark twice. <laughs> Once on Arrested Development. But away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Henry is still in touch with that starry-eyed kid from New York. How many boyhood memories come through? Okay, so that was my building, 210. That's where you laid in bed and dreamed of being somebody. That's exactly where I was dreaming, yes. <laughs> there is not a person we haven't passed who's not starstruck by you. So you don't need fame and fortune to be somebody. No, you don't. I'm, I followed my dream. I wanted to be an actor, and here I am. And it worked. But no, you being who you are is to be somebody. What a wonderful life. Yeah. I, you know what? That is so true. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.